Aaron Carter has faced some personal battles. Worst of all might be his strained relationship with his family. Did he really accuse his brother Nick of abusing Paris Hilton? Keep watching for the biggest allegations he's made. In September 2019, during an appearance on The Doctors, Aaron Carter spoke openly about his battle with addiction while also revealing he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Carter shared that his late sister Leslie introduced him to drugs when he was 16. She sadly died from a prescription drug overdose in 2012. He then went on to call out his family for not supporting him on his journey to sobriety, saying, after going to rehab in 2017, Nick didn't come, my mom didn't come, nobody came. I get a tweet, a public tweet from my brother saying, if you need any help with rehab, I'm here. You live in Las Vegas, you're three hours away, get here. You need to make amends to me, you need to apologize to me. I haven't even met my nephew. According to 2Fab, Aaron then took to Twitter to continue his rant and accuse Nick of profiting off his family's hardships. Citing Nick's 2013 book, Facing the Music and Living to Talk About It, Aaron reportedly tweeted that the only reason he spoke openly on The Doctors was because Nick started it by using his family's shortcomings for profit when he wrote a book. Following his September 2019 appearance on The Doctors, Aaron Carter was criticized by Nick Carter's fans who thought TV wasn't the right outlet for Aaron to voice his claims. According to 2Fab, he quickly fired back on Twitter, not only calling Backstreet Boys fans cyberbullies, but also alleging Nick was a real-life bully. As evidence, Aaron shared a video clip from E's 2006 reality show, House of Carters, in which his brother can be seen attempting to intimidate him. Yeah, but let me tell you something real quick. You're gonna turn the f music down and respect me, hey, all right? spit in my face, all right? dog. Don't all spit right? in my face, all right? Man. Accompanying the video was a scathing caption in which Aaron demanded, Leave me alone. Nick, you bullied me my whole life and tortured me as a child, and everyone knows it. He also shared another clip showing Nick throwing a pie in his face at the Kids' Choice Awards when he was just 13, an act that allegedly caused serious injury. Aaron reportedly claimed, Look at my brother's face before he broke my nose. Oh, he broke my nose several times. My side too. And it's been in front of all of you Backstreet Boys fans and you've allowed it. The tweet reportedly sparked more backlash from Backstreet Boys fans as Aaron tweeted, My brother is encouraging his fans to keep calling the police everywhere I go on my tour. Stop encouraging your fans to bully me and others. As we mentioned earlier, Leslie Carter died from a prescription drug overdose at the age of 25. Sadly, her tragic death didn't bring her brothers closer together. Rather, it drove them apart as Nick skipped her funeral. According to Today, Nick instead chose to perform a solo concert that day, which took place seven hours away from the funeral service. While his decision raised eyebrows, Nick justified it to TMZ saying, I wanted to be at my sister's funeral, but my family has always had a complicated dynamic. He later explained to Dr. Phil in a 2013 appearance on his show that when his family called to tell him about his sister's death, the conversation became more about him than about her. And then I started to get blamed by the rest of the family and I, I have a large family, they all went there, and they were blaming me for the death. According to E.T., Aaron wasn't swayed by his brother's explanations and decided to rehash the drama during their escalating feud in 2019, allegedly tweeting, Nick didn't even show up at our sister's funeral because he had a concert at a bar two hours away and said he didn't want to be a part of family drama when we were burying our sister Leslie. As if proving Nick's claims, he then reportedly blamed him for their sister's death, writing, he paid for my first rehab, at Betty Ford Center, but shut the door in his own sister's face when she begged him for rehab and she overdosed a month later. Over the years, Nick Carter has been accused of sexual assault by a number of women, including Melissa Schumann, a member of girl group Dream. It was in 2018 that she shared her Me Too story, claiming she fell victim to Nick when she was 18 and telling the Daily Beast that his fans, quote, made it their life's mission to destroy me. That sentiment echoed Aaron's claims that Nick's fans are cyberbullies, and in September 2019, he brought Schumann into his brotherly feud. Tagging the songstress, along with three other women, he reportedly compared his brother to Jeffrey Epstein and tweeted, Ladies, speak up, please. I'm standing by all these victims. Please, Aphrodite Jones, the victims all want to talk now. Maybe do an R. Kelly-type documentary. When Nick's supporters tried to question the truthfulness of Aaron's claims, he fired back. The cases were dismissed. Have you ever heard of corrupt systems or money and abuse of power and celebrity status to silence your accusers? 
continuing with abuse allegations leveled against Nick Carter. He made headlines for all the wrong reasons in 2004 when his ex Paris Hilton was spotted with multiple bruises on her body just a week after their breakup. Speaking with people at the time, he said, I'll tell you one thing, I didn't touch her. I'm not that kind of guy. I would never do that. However, a source told New York Post that Hilton was, quote, scared to death of Nick due to his major anger management issues and claimed it wasn't the first time they had seen Hilton bruised. Jumped to 2019, and Aaron Carter rehashed those stories following Nick's decision to seek a restraining order against him. He allegedly tweeted, I have never been accused of rape multiple times. I wasn't accused of beating Paris Hilton. Who's violent? He also alleged that Hilton witnessed Nick being violent towards him, writing, You were there and pulled him off of me when he attacked me that morning and tried to kill me. Help me, Paris Hilton. He added that he saw the abuse occur himself and reportedly concluded, Restraining order says stay 100 feet away. It's been thousands of miles for years. Using the court system to shake me down. Worked on some girls, but won't work on me. The brotherly drama escalated in September 2019, when Aaron Carter took to Instagram Live to show off an assault weapon and proclaim, don't imprison me and count on me to not battle again and kill everyone. Nick Carter took it as a personal threat and tweeted, I am truly now afraid for my family's safety. After careful consideration, my sister Angel and I regret that we were required to seek a restraining order against our brother Aaron today. Explaining his reasoning, he continued, in light of Aaron's recent confession that he harbors thoughts and intentions of killing my pregnant wife and unborn child, we were left with no choice. Aaron allegedly responded by tweeting that he and Nick's brotherly relationship was over and claiming his decision was, quote, obviously a chess game of some sort. He went on to add, all I ask is for my family to leave me alone. He also reportedly accused his ex, Lena Valentina, of conspiring with Angel, his twin sister, and Nick to get him put in a psychiatric institution. After Nick Carter and Angel filed their restraining order, Aaron appeared in a Los Angeles court where he witnessed a judge grant Angel's request for a year-long order. Angel claimed that her brother had told her, quote, I have people that would come and harm you. In light of her claims, the judge ordered Aaron to surrender his firearms. At that moment, the pop star began to yell and proclaim he could simply buy more weapons. Following the hearing, Aaron took to his Instagram story to tell followers, I am devastated by what happened in court today. I'm saddened by my family and what they have done to me. Your lies have broken my heart. He also voiced his anger on Twitter, writing, what an awesome twin sister, testifying against her brother when I've done so much for Angel. What's more, he tried to expose her as an alleged thief, tagging her husband, Corey Conrad, and tweeting, how will your corporate bosses and employees feel knowing your wife was arrested for shoplifting and has the Carter curse of drug use? Aaron Carter hasn't just gone after siblings Nick Carter and Angel Conrad. He also flung serious accusations against his late sister, Leslie Carter. He reportedly took to Twitter in September 2019 to accuse her of abuse, writing, My sister Leslie suffered from bipolar and took lithium to treat it. When she was off of it, she did things that she never meant to do. I truly believe that. After that came this shocking claim. Leslie raped me from the age of 10 to 13 years old when she wasn't on her medications. He also reportedly claimed that he was sexually abused by his first two backup dancers when he was only eight years old. Following these bombshell allegations, Aaron told his followers, I spent the last 15 years of my life going to therapy for abuse and rape. As for why he chose to speak up, he explained it was about catharsis, saying, I feel cleansed, all my truth is out. I just need to focus now on my music, my career, and supporting all victims of abuse and rape. I hope you also feel the strength to tell your story like I did. Find that strength. You will feel free. When Aaron Carter was just 16, he sought legal emancipation from his mom, Jane Carter, who was his manager at the time. According to CNN, Aaron alleged that she took $100,000 from his bank account without his knowledge and said, I feel betrayed by my own mother. Jane denied the allegations and Aaron eventually dropped the request in 2004. However, he regretted the choice. When the pair appeared on Marriage Boot Camp, Reality Stars Family Edition in 2019, and Aaron was asked to share a message with his younger self, he proclaimed, I would tell you that you should have did it. You should have gotten emancipated. During the segment, he didn't hold anything back when describing his childhood relationship with her, especially the time period after she divorced his father and allegedly failed to provide him with a stable home environment. You are a severe oh. alcoholic and partying with 
multiple dudes all the time. You were a we terrible were mother at the end after the divorce. In the end, mother and son appear to reconcile. And in 2019, Aaron pushed Jane to seek treatment for alcohol addiction on the doctors. She agreed, but soon relapsed and it fueled another feud. Aaron blamed his family, allegedly writing on Twitter, Thanks to my family and what they've been doing to my mother attempting to stress her out, she has fallen off the wagon and relapsed immediately when she got home. It's sickening what my family is doing. Open your eyes. Aaron Carter's relationship with his mother and siblings has been volatile, to say the least. In 2019, he proclaimed he'd be cutting ties with all of them. He reportedly unleashed on Twitter after they sought to file a restraining order against him. I'm telling you, I do not want any communication with my family for life. They need to leave me alone. Angel, Nick and his spouse, and in-laws. And things sure didn't get better with time, as Aaron continued his rampage the following month, allegedly writing, I never wanted to get to that point where I wouldn't have my family in my life anymore. But now, that time has come. I have to completely sever and distance myself from them to protect myself from them. They're killing me inside with stress and I will never be in their life. Aaron shared more of that same sentiment in November, reportedly tweeting, I asked my family to respect my decision of never seeing them again. In December, he wrote that he was celebrating Christmas with his Nana and no one else, reportedly tweeting, Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. To all the ones who think they don't have family like me, which I don't, you do have family. I have you and you have me always. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.